Thank you, Madam President. In fit draws the attention of the Council to the various religion-based violent incidents, human rights abuses in Papua, and violation against human rights defenders. The Government of Indonesia has expressed its commitment to protect religious minority groups. However, situation of the religious minority groups in Indonesia is worsening. Three months after the second cycle of the Indonesia UPR session, on the 26th of August 2012, about 500 masses attacked and burned the houses of the CIT followers in Madura, East Java. That resulted to the death of one CIT followers, one person in a critical condition, and about 550 houses were burned. Madam President, our deepest concern is also directed to the practice of violence that is still ongoing in Papua. Those who are staging peaceful protests are always accused as separatist groups and charged with recent article of the Indonesian Penal Code. The strong security agenda in Papua is comparable with the impunity climate that is continuously preserved. The pressure of civil society to revise the military court law is always ignored. The practice of impunity in Indonesia is also apparent in the murder case of the prominent human rights defender Munir Said Talib which in eight, eight years has remained unresolved. We urge the government of Indonesia, first, to concretely implement 144 recommendation that immediately accepted by the Indonesian government. Second, to accept the remaining 36 recommendation that need further consultation among relevant stakeholders in the country. Third, to hold peaceful dialogue with representatives of the Papuan people. Fourth, to bring masterminds of the murder of Munir to justice. Thank you, Madam President.